Hi, welcome back. Up until this point, we've used a couple of different attributes from NUnit. We've used the test fixture attribute to mark a class as containing tests, and we've also used the test attribute on individual test methods. In this module, we're going to learn some additional attributes that we can use to perform various functions when using NUnit. So we're going to start off by learning how we can run extra code before and after tests run. So this could be before and after individual tests in a test fixture, before or after an entire test fixture runs, before and after all of the tests in a specific namespace run, and code that runs before and after all tests in a given assembly. We're next going to look at some ways we can create data-driven tests. So rather than copying and pasting a test multiple times just to use different test data, we'll see how some of the NUnit attributes help us to do this with less code. To do this, we'll learn about test cases where we can supply the input data to a test, and also how we can auto-generate combinations of input data to create a greater range of input data combinations. And we'll finish up this module by looking at some miscellaneous attributes that you may find useful.